Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. I slept last night. I slept so, so good. I feel rested and yeah i feel so good it felt so good to sleep i am making some coffee which is just about done but i have to show you something funny if you need evidence of how well i slept i mean i have all the covers at one point i was so wrapped up in the blanket i couldn't get out of it but i gotta show you what i've rigged up so, this is hysterical. Last night I washed my laundry in the tub by hand and it's not quite dry but it's almost there. So I rigged a hair dryer in here to blow on the clothes to dry them. And then I sealed the door like a tomb to make it work. I am like the MacGyver of Vlogmas. I created a clothes dryer with like a safety pin, a hair dryer, and an eyeglass case, and a tissue box. I'm so proud of myself. For breakfast, I actually have this from yesterday. It's a blueberry muffin, and then I'm just gonna have my coffee with it. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy some breakfast. I'm gonna watch some Good Morning America. We've had this discussion before. You're either a Today Show or a Good Morning America person. Steven and I are Good Morning America. Hi friends, I am back. There are some trails over there, and then you can't see it, but there's a bigger body of water. So I walked some of those trails. And I told you I was going to make Vlogmas happen in our, I have every lamp on, I just realized that. I told you I was going to make Vlogmas happen. So I, Got us an advent calendar at Whole Foods. I got us a mini gingerbread house to do tonight. If you're away from Vlogmas, you make Vlogmas come to you. We got all the things. I also picked myself up a bottle of wine and some water, and I need to go fill up my ice bucket. So, let me go take care of all of that. I'm watching Home Alone 2, and I am about to start our gingerbread house. I mean, trying to make the most of this Vlogmas day. Uh, while well, I'm in New Jersey. I just thought this would be something fun to do. However, I just realized I don't have scissors. I'm sure I can make this work. I'm creative. All right, I'm supposed to knead the icing for two minutes and then let it dry for 15. I am going to knead this. I'm gonna figure out how I'm going to cut it and then We'll do all the things. So the option I had was to bite off a little piece of the corner and now to do my best to make that work. All right. I need to pipe some, I'm gonna pipe on these edges. This is also just like a little cute mini house. Okay, friends, I don't think this is going to go well. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it just fell all apart. I don't. I really have some firm doubts about this going well. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. All right. Hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. All right, we got it together, but it's supposed to dry for 15 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. So 
<laughs> I have it pinned between two water bottles to see if it's enough to let it dry and set. I'm probably gonna do like 20, 25 minutes, but we have Home Alone on. We're making it festive. Day seven is right here. And it's a heart. And it has like a really cute little nativity. Day six was here. I feel like I should open them all. Oh wait, they have messages. Are they all hearts? Yes, I think they're all hearts. What was today's message? A lol. Oh, it's the telling of the nativity. Hold on. Then years ago in Holy Land, I accidentally ripped that one. The people in the Holy Land were governed by the Romans. In the village of Nazareth lived a young woman named Mary. When Mary grew up, she promised in marriage to, she was promised in marriage to a carpenter named Joseph. Angel Gabriel came to Mary and told her God had chosen her to be the mother of his son. An angel appeared to Joseph and told him to name the baby Jesus. A law was passed that everyone had to return to their town of their birth to register for tax. We got an advent calendar, we got a gingerbread house going, and we have Christmas movies. I am going to eat dinner. It's a really chill night. Last night for dinner, I ordered some pita and hummus. And then today, I ran to Whole Foods and got some falafel and tahini. So between this, this is going to be dinner tonight. Gingerbread house is still drying. I have very little faith, but I'm gonna eat some dinner and then Maybe we'll try decorating. So I poured myself a glass of wine. Home Alone is over. I feel like this may be dry. It feels quite promising. And it's all together. And I think I'm gonna start doing a little decorating. So, cue the time lapse. Last year I thought about We finished our little gingerbread house. It is not my best work. Tearing the icing bag was pretty rough. But I mean, I don't think it's terrible. I mean, he's a cute little gingerbread. I am kind of happy. We have like a advent happening. We made... I'm kind of... <laughs> thrilled that we did like this little vlogmasy thing despite all the other nonsense but I'm pretty proud of that and it'll be something that I remember all right friends so I thought we would end with a couple of our questions and answers one was do you have insecurities uh everything I don't like how I look I don't think I'm ever smart enough I have imposter syndrome on a daily basis. I never think I'm good enough. I don't think I'm good at what I do. I have the most insecurities um, with myself and I really struggle with it and it gets in my head and I create stories and I really, really struggle. <clears throat> That's just the honest to God truth. And I know a lot of you will understand that and hear that. Someone asked, what do I do with my old Christmas decor since I do a theme every year? Well, surprisingly, a lot of stuff year from year still shows up. It just looks different because I've changed some things out. But I have it all organized by theme. And then my goal eventually would be to start renting them out and decorating for people. I wanted to wait till I had about six or seven themes and I'm there now. So... That would be my goal is to start running them out, doing the decorating, and have a little side Christmas decorating hustle. And yeah. Someone asked, do you have a master's degree? And I do. It's in educational leadership. If you could have lunch with three famous people, dead or alive, who would they be? Oprah. Dolly Parton. Betty White. 
That's a really good group, I'm just gonna say. Is Peloton bike worth the money? Yes, I think the Bike Plus is worth the money because the swivel screen really makes it much more functional as far as the other workouts. What's your favorite affordable skincare product? Avena Moisturizer. I think their moisturizers compete with the highest end ones. I have La Mer, which is like 300 plus dollars for an ounce, and Avena is just as good. How do I manage to get so much done in a day? Most days I feel like I haven't done enough. That's just the honest opinion. I really, most days don't feel like I have done enough. Sugar cookies or gingerbread? Whoo, I'm gonna say gingerbread. A really good spicy gingerbread though. I'm hoping that Williams Sonoma mix is like spicy. I like like a strong gingerbread. Favorite road trip snacks? Well, on this road trip I have, I take my Dagny Dover lunchbox with ice packs and I had some Coke Zeros in there, some raw cashews, some cucumbers, some fig bars, and then, ugh, the peanut butter stuffed dates from Trader Joe's. They are so good and they're individually wrapped which makes them even better. Any surprises coming up in Vlogmas? Well, I guess you'll have to stay tuned, but yes, one will be on Saturday, and one will be next week. Do you like that cliffhanger? I know you've moved up in leadership. What is the best thing about your new position and the worst? Uh, best thing that's come from it is I've learned a lot more about myself this year. I think I have also been able to create different boundaries and relationships than in previous years and that is something I'm still working on and I think after this trip it was actually good for me to maybe even level that up a little bit more. Hardest thing is is that as you move up a ladder it gets lonelier and lonelier. Uh, I might be considering a maybe going for something else which would be even lonelier. So I think that is important to know and how to navigate and make sure you surround yourself with people that uh, can be within that circle because it gets lonelier. How is your knee? It is feeling better. I wanna try running so much but I don't wanna do it too soon. But I feel like I might be able to. I might wait till this weekend, but I, it's feeling better. Stairs felt better today because I went up and down stairs a lot. So, yeah, I'm feeling better. What did you think? <laughs> so many questions about this one. What did you think of the Williams Sonoma limited edition mixer now that you've gone and looked at it? I loved it. Uh, the copper bowl is beautiful. It looks a lot more green online than it is in person. It's far more of like a gray sage than a green sage. It was very pretty. Um, I just haven't decided what I want to do yet. What is my general line of work? It is for a nonprofit and urban education and making sure that underserved communities get exactly what they need. What does Steven do? Steven is an attorney. Favorite luxury purchases you made this year? Ooh, I have actually made several luxury purchases, but I have just chosen not to share them as much. But favorite ones this year? Fendi Sunshine Tote in the large size with the guitar, the guitar strap, so you can wear it. The multi-pochette Louis Vuitton, great travel thing. I don't use it as like a crossbody. I like the multiple pochettes linked together to drop in your luggage, and you can organize them. I've been using that for all my tech devices. Um, I got the giant Gucci print wallet that I really liked. Um, and then big purchase was the Chanel airline bag that is like meant for travel and has like the thing that drops over your suitcase. Love that thing. Um, and I've used it a lot. It's a very, very great bag. But those are like top favorite luxury purchases. And of course, Golden Goose sneakers. And now I need to stop buying those. How are my parents doing? My dad is doing better. My mom is wearing herself out taking care of him. Um, but they're doing better. What did you think of Philadelphia? So, not my first time in Philly. I was here, I'm usually here at least once a year um, to visit. Um, I'm usually here at least once a year, usually more than that, but I really like it. It's, uh, I love the oldness of the city. I love that they have their cobblestones. I love Center City and Old City, Philly, and Fishtown, and 
Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse is a beautiful area for shopping. So yeah, I really like Philly. I love it this time of year. They have a really fantastic Christmas market. It's one of the best Christmas markets. I've been to New York City's, um, oh, why did I just blank out? It's not Gramercy. The park, uh, the Christmas market in New York City. I've been to many a time, Bryant Park. Bryant Park Christmas Market in New York City, and it's good. I think Phillies is just as good. They have the carousel and the Ferris wheel and all the things. It's just so cute. But um, yeah, I love Philly, and it's it's a great city. People are really nice here, and the food scene is really strong. So yeah, it, it's nice. I'm not in Philly anymore. I'm in New Jersey now. Uh, but I've also been really impressed. This is really my first time in uh, Short Hills, and it's been lovely. Oh, this is a good one to end Vlogmas with, because it's a word that I have been thinking about nonstop. What does impact mean to you? This is really something I've really been thinking about over the last three, four days, about impact and my own impact. I think what impact means to me is not like specifically to me. For me, what I when I think about impact, I think every action, every word, all the things you do have an impact. And it is your job to determine what you want your impact to be. For me, my impact purpose or impact mission, if you will, I want people to leave me having gotten better at something, feeling supported, feeling loved and cared about and seen and heard, and I want them to have had fun and laughed. When I walk away from a task or a job, if I have accomplished those four things for someone, I feel so good. Yesterday in particular, I was working with three of my colleagues and it was something that could have been intense, but we laughed and such good work happened and we made people better and it was a really good time. So I think that's what impact means to me. It's like everything you do will have an impact <clears throat> personally or professionally. And what is the vision and the mission for your impact? And then it is your job to leave that space knowing that the things that you have aligned yourself with is the impact that you have made. Oh, that was good. So I'm gonna end Vlogmas there. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.